In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate with an SAP system using Power Apps or Microsoft Flow through Azure Logic Apps. So it's not my goal in this video to show you or teach you how to use Logic Apps or to use the SAP connector for Logic Apps. It's really just to show you how to connect the pieces together in an end-to-end -end working example. There's already good documentation on using Logic Apps with the SAP connector. There's a really good blog post on sort of advanced scenarios with Logic Apps and SAP. And so I'll provide links to these resources in my blog post. What I'm going to show you how to do is to start from a Logic App. So here I have a, an Azure resource group. Again, there's lots of walkthroughs on how to create Logic Apps in Azure, but we're gonna start with an Azure resource group here that has a Logic App called Marca C SAP dash Logic App. It uses an existing connection. Um, I'm not gonna go into details of how to set up a connection. There's again, good documentation on that. This happens to be a, a connection that's already be, been configured to an SAP system. So I'm just gonna go into my Logic App here. If I edit this, you'll see that it's configured to be callable when an HTTP request is received. We're using the existing connection to generate schemas. And then we're using the, that existing connection right here to send a message to SAP. Now, I am not an SAP expert. In fact, I barely know how to spell SAP. And the focus of this video is not to necessarily show you advanced SAP integration scenarios. The purpose of this video really is to show those who want to implement a scenario like this, that it's A, possible, and B, how to implement this pattern for your own scenarios. So again, what this Logic App does is really kind of not relevant, other than the fact that it's using an, an SAP connection. I could, of course, create one but I've got one that's already created for me. So I'll go ahead and close this. I don't want to save the changes. And notice that there's this nice little export button right here on the Logic App in the Azure portal. If I click Export, you'll notice Export to Power Apps and Flow. I'll call this Mark SC dash Logic App dash SAP dash Demo. So I'll put this into my environment. Now click OK. Successfully been exported. So I'll come back over to Logic Apps here and I can just either navigate off or refresh. I'll refresh here. I need to pick the right environment, so I'll pick my environment. Go to my custom connectors. And there it is. So now if I want to use this custom connector, I'll come in and I'll create a blank canvas app. Call this SAP test. So we'll come in here, we'll insert a button. And on select of that button, I'm going to go ahead and first view my data sources. I'll add that custom connector. Create a new connection here to that custom connector. Click Create. And then on select here, I can call that custom connector. 
There's my logic app. And there's my call to manually invoke it. And in this case, it doesn't take any parameters, so I'll just manually invoke it. I can test this out. Click that button. And now if I come back to the Azure portal, notice that we've got some runs. And if I refresh this, there's a new run marked at 7.35 PM. We can actually look at the execution of that logic app. We can download the output. And we can see that the call was made and the response body. Similarly, if I come over here and I create a flow, I'll just call this SAP test, the button flow. So I can manually trigger it. I can add a new step and then we'll call my custom connector. So there it is. There's my action. I'll save this. Test it. In this case, this is really just showing that a flow can ca call a custom connector. We see we got a, a status code of 200, but again, if we come back to Azure or the Azure portal here, and if I refresh, see we have another flow run. Now, at this point, you may be asking yourself, but yeah, how do I do more advanced things like pass data into the Logic app and back from the Logic app? And really, those are just more advanced scenarios with Power Apps, Logic Apps, and Flow. So if you really want to understand some of the more advanced approaches to sort of passing data in and out, uh, they're the same whether you do it with Flow or you do it with Logic Apps. And so I have a video here that kind of shows you how to build a Canvas app, pass data from the Canvas app to the Flow, and then re return data from the flow to the Canvas app. And so you can use those same building blocks to then do the same thing with the Logic app, whether you're calling the Logic app from a Power app or you're calling the Logic app from a flow. And again, those are more just Power apps and flow fundamentals. And so in this vi video, I've showed you how easy it is to create a Logic app that uses the SAP connector, export that Logic app, to a callable form from, from Power Apps and from Microsoft Flow. Hopefully this video is useful and gets you on your way to interacting with SAP from Power Apps and Flow through Azure Logic Apps.